live. Um, you are very welcome. And good to see you. Hello. Hello. And so um, I'm going to be sharing this morning about um, Stephen the Martyr um, as we continue our series, Encounters with God. Um, and I just felt it was appropriate on this day when we are celebrating and commemorating Remembrance Day um, that we also remember the saints who have gone before us um, in the faith. And um, last week, if you were here or if you listened online, I shared about Saul of Tarsus, who we know better as the Apostle Paul. And I also um, shared about my own encounter with Christ. And, um, and so when we're speaking about um, Stephen the martyr, we learn various things about him. We, uh, there's quite a bit of information about him. He was born in 5 AD, and he was born in a Greek-speaking area of the Roman Empire, um, not in Judea. Um, but he was Jewish by birth but he was Greek by culture and language. And um, he moved to Jerusalem when he was a young man, and there he came to faith in Jesus Christ. Um, chances are he actually had moved there to get in touch with his Jewish roots and his Jewish heritage. And uh, we don't know exactly how he came to Christ. We don't know if he uh, heard Jesus speaking. Um, we don't know if he heard the apostles speaking, but we do know that he came to faith while he was there in Jerusalem, and that he was among the very first deacons to be selected, and he was killed for his faith in 34 AD at the young age of 29 years old. Um, he is thought to be the very first Christian martyr um, in the Greek language. They will call him proto-martyr, uh, meaning first martyr, um, where we get the word prototype. Uh, so he's uh, the example of what it is to have been a martyr for our faith. And it was his murder that sparked the first big wave of persecution against the Christian church in Jerusalem, the very first church. And um, as well as um, the persecution that spread them from there to other Jewish communities throughout the Roman Empire. Um, most pictures, if you look him up online, will show him... Uh, tonsured, and um, when I saw when I saw a commentary about him being tonsured, I was like, I've heard this word before, but I can't remember what it means. So uh, tonsured is is this up here? Uh, it's the ultimate bowl cut. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so if you know what a bowl cut is, um, so a bowl cut is something that used to be quite common when I was a kid growing up, uh, where. Um, Usually the mom would literally stick a bowl over their child's head and cut around the edges. Uh, and, and they take the bowl off and look like you still had a bowl on your head. Uh, well, it was kind of like that, except they also cut the middle out and just left a ring of hair. Um, so the whole top was bald. Um, but um, apparently the whole practice, practice of tonsuring didn't actually come into being um, until about the 5th century A.D., um, which is when most of the pictures of him uh, came, or they came after that. Um, so chances are he didn't actually rock that hairstyle, um, but he was um, he was probably you know quite um, full head had a full head of hair. Um, so as we um, read about Stephen in the Book of Acts of the Apostles, uh, we first are introduced to him in chapter six, and there. We read, Now in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, there arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists, because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And what that means is that um, when the church would gather, if there were widows and others who were in need, who were part of the church, um, the church would feed them. Um, they would literally have tables where they would have a meal, and they would also give them food to take home. And um, the, uh, there were the, the Hebrew Jews, um, who were Hebrew-speaking, um, Hebrew in culture, Jewish in culture, um, and then there were the, there were the Hellenists, um, who either were Jews who, like Stephen, were born and raised in Greek-speaking areas and had adopted primarily the Greek culture, um, or, in some cases, there were some people who actually were Greek or Roman or one of the other nationalities that was represented 
um, in, in the Roman Empire or other adjacent areas who had gotten interested in Judaism and you know, went to Jerusalem.